Honorable Mr. Justice Sanjay Kumar Mishra, Chief Justice, High Court of Jharkhand, my esteemed sister and brother judges of the High Court of Jharkhand, Mrs. Jitu Kumar, President Advocates Association, Sri Rani Ranjan, Learned Advocate General, Mr. Anil Kumar, the learned additional solicitor general, respected senior advocates, members of the bar, learned registrar general, and the members of the registry, ladies and gentlemen. This full court reference is held in the honor of Honorable Mr. Justice Sanjay Kumar Mishra. Honorable the Chief Justice of this High Court, who shall be demitting office on 28th of December 2023, after serving for more than 14 years as a High Court Judge. Justice Mishra was born on 29th December 1961 in Balangir and did his schooling from Upper Primary School and Prithviraj High School at Balangir. Justice Mishra is a Commerce graduate. He did his BCom Honours from Rajendra College, Balangir in 1982 and completed the Master's course in Commerce from Delhi University. He obtained his LLB degree from Law Faculty, <laughs> Delhi University in 1987 and they started practice in Balangir District Court. Before Justice Misra became additional district and sessions judge after securing first position in the recruitment examination, he had acquired vast experience of conducting sessions trials and civil suit trials. During his tenure as the district judge, Justice Misra served as District and Sessions Judge of Sundargar and then Kanal Districts. He was made a special judge CBI at Bhavaneshwar and later given the responsibility of the Registrar General of the High Court of Urissa. Justice Misra was elevated as Judge of the High Court of Urissa on 7th October 2009. Before Justice Misra took oath as the Chief Justice of High Court of Jharkhand. He had the experience of more than six months at the High Court of Uttarakhand, where he was made the Acting Chief Justice on 24th of December 2021. <clears throat> Honorable the Chief Justice is a dynamic leader and has a unique ability to guide and steer his team with each. During his tenure as the Chief Justice of the High Court of Jharkhand, the Honorable Chief Justice disposed of 1,763 cases involving constitutional, commerce and criminal matters. His Lordship has always championed the cause of common man, which is reflected in the judgments rendered by him. In a state of Jharkhand and others versus Bhim Singh, later patent appeal number 932 of 2021, His Lordship held that if the departmental proceeding and criminal case against an employee are based on identical and similar set of facts, and the imputation in the departmental proceeding and the charge framed in the criminal court are one and the same, the acquittal of the delinquent employee in the criminal case would be a relevant factor in the departmental proceeding. In employer in relation to management of Grameen Bank, versus Presiding Officer Central Government, LPA number 4 of 2021. His Lordship held that writ of certiorari is not to be issued to correct mere errors of fact or law, unless it is established before the court that the error is manifest and apparent on the face of the record. <coughs> there are judgments of parting importance such as Amarnath Pandey versus Bank of Baroda, Prafal Kumar Samal versus State of Jharkhand, Dharampal Satyapal Limited versus Union of India, 
in particular dharampal the virus of section 32 sub clause a of the food safety and standards act 2006 was challenged by the petitioner his lordship is speaking for the court held that if section 30 subsection 2 clause a of the act is taken in isolation with other provisions of the act then the commissioner of the food safety has been delegated absolute power to ban any article of food for such a period not exceeding one year and the act has certain inbuilt safeguards in it so that an order is not passed in a whimsical manner a chief justice of high court of jharkhand justice mishra had taken some quick and tough decisions he has taken various measures to streamline and improve the administration in the high court and the district courts his lordship has also ensured that modern technology is used in the court proceedings and digitization of records are completed at the earliest. The innovative measures like online viewing of defective filing, online supply of certified copy, e-filing, e-payment of court fees are some of the measures adopted at the instance of Honorable the Chief Justice to ensure greater transparency and accountability in the court proceedings. It was his lordship's continuous pursuit in the e-committee that two benches in the high court are running paperless at present on trial basis and more than thousands of cases have been uploaded in the DMS and least but not the last it was really a Herculean task to shift in the new high court building and make it functional immediately on the opening day after the summer vacation the tenure of Honorable the Chief Justice shall be marked with great works and achievements which would benefit not only the legal fraternity, it shall be serving the litigants of this state in large measures. His Lordship carries a humble and down-to-earth persona. His qualities like simplicity and determination to work and being impartial are worth emulated by all of us. I was very fortunate to get a chance to work with His Lordship and to receive unconditional support in discharging my professional responsibilities. We are going to miss His Lordship's judicial and administrative experience and astuteness, the void created after the retirement of Honorable Mr. Justice Sanjay Kumar Mishra will be difficult to fill in his Lordship's retirement would not only be a great loss to the Jharkhand High Court, but to the entire legal fraternity. Every journey, however beautiful it may be, has to come to an end at some point in time. The 14 years long professional journey of Honorable Mr. Justice Sanjay Kumar Mishra shall be coming to an end on 28 December 2023 and we all have to accept it. I and my sister and brother judges of this High Court would bid farewell on that day to Honorable the Chief Justice. His Lordship may be physically leaving this High Court on that day, but he will always remain in our thoughts. We would definitely cherish the trail of memories left behind His Lordship. Retirement sunset is not the end of the road rather it is the beginning of a new opening highway with lots of choices it gives another chance to reinvent <coughs> and to do new things in life we all wish honorable the chief justice his family and friends a very happy joyous healthy and peaceful life in the coming years and hope that his lordship will always keep on reinventing himself and we also keep us in his thoughts. Thank you. Honorable the Chief Justice, she is a great man, Honorable the judges of the High 
าท่านไหนกดและในอาจจะเจอจากท่านไหนกดและในสิ่งอาบุกิสและในรองศาสตร์ที่ดูแลและในรองศาสตร์ที่มีความเป็นเดียร์มาสิ่งพลิส Members of the registry and all present here. I stand before this august God and assembly to ex express sentiments of profound gratitude as they give favor to Honorable Mr. Justice Sanjay Kumar Mishra, who has served as the 14th Chief Justice of this sacred institution for almost a year, less two months. After a long and illustrious career, the time has come for my Lord. To don the robe of retirement, having rendered invaluable service to the administration of justice, my Lord embarked on a judicial odyssey that has spanned over 23 years—a journey which we all were fortunate to share with him. Beginning his practice as a junior in the chamber of his father, Shri Matanya Mishra, my Lord practiced in the district courts of Bangalore in the initial years of his career. While also rendering his service as an honorary lecturer of Balanir Law College, in the year 1999, my lord joined the judiciary as additional district and session judge, Jaipur, and later in the sessions court at Sundarpur and Jhelum, and also in the CBI courts, Bhubaneswar. He joined the High Court of Orissa as the Registrar General, and was later elevated to the position of judge. Where he served for 14 years before and 20 years before the joining the High Court of Uttarakhand. After which, as we all know, we were bestowed with his guidance in this remarkable institution. We have all had our fair share of legal drama, but my Lord's approach has been refreshingly different. He spoke the job language which suited us, hence making justice feel a little more human. Your Lordship's time has been an epitome of judicial decorum, fostering an environment of respect and dignity. The bar and the bench under your Lordship have functioned harmoniously, creating a friendly atmosphere. While many of us lost track of time running our daily cycle of drafting, arguing, and voting the law, my Lord made it a point to be available to us all during the court's hours, not being a minute late. Heat, cold, rain, or storm, nothing could stop him from being in his court right on time. But at times of fault, he claims apologized for being late, even for a minute. As we bid adieu to this chapter, let's not mourn, but let's cherish, cherish the mark my Lord leaves on our legal family, the laughter shared during the breaks, the shared notes of understanding in a packed courtroom. These are the memories we will carry forward. My Lord, your leg legacy isn't just in the judgments you have rendered. It is in the countless lives you have touched with your fairness, kindness, and a sprinkle of humor. I, being the president of Advocates Association, had the opportunity to, uh, to interact with your Lordship, shifting to this new High Court building, which was the most challenging task but your lordships know how to get it done. The committee was constituted by your lordships under the chairmanship of one of the most popular judge, Mr. Justice Rangon Mukhopadhyay, who would joke about anything and set us ready for each and everything. Before shifting here, my lord had promised a lot of things which in my opinion was needed and most of it had been provided. But the NXE building is still our dream, and I'm sure the members of the bar, like the members of the bar, the honorable judges will also respect your commitment to the bar, and that dream will also be fulfilled. Honorable the Chief Justice, a man of clean heart and mind. If he realized that some of his decisions were not liked, or was not in the interest of the bar, he would not hesitate, hesitate in reviewing the same. It, uh, this, would walk into, uh, this would walk into the interest of the bar without making us feel that he was a Chief Justice. In conclusion, we extend a heartful gratitude for this invaluable contributions, and we wish your Lordship a retirement 
adorned with the same grace, wisdom, and fulfillment that have characterized your Lordship's judicial tenure. May your Lordship's days ahead be as extraordinary as the legacy your Lordship leaves behind. and all the brother judges of Honorable Jharkhand High Court, <coughs> President and other office bearers of the Advocate Association, Additional Solicitor General of India, senior advocates, members of the Bar Council, law officers, Additional Advocate General working with me, Additional Public Prosecutors, Associate Councils, Members of the Registry, Ladies and Gentlemen. Honorable the Chief Justice, Mr. Justice Sanjay Kumar Mishra, was born on 29th December 1961 at Bolangir, Odisha. He did his primary schooling at Tikra Upper Primary School and passed his secondary examination from Prithvi Raj High School, Bolangir, in 1977. He completed his BCom honors from Balangir and MCom and LLB from Delhi University. After completing his LLB in 1987, he started his practice from March 1988 in Balangir District Courts under the guidance of his late father, Sri Markande Mishra. Despite being a regular practicing advocate, the Honorable the Chief Justice also found time and energy to impart legal education to the next generation, as he was also an honorary lecturer, law lecturer at Balangir Law College, Odisha. His lordships appeared and secured first position in the district judge's direct recruitment from bar examination and joined as additional district and session judge, Jaipur. He later also worked as district and session judge at Sundargarh, Dhen Kanal, Odisha. He also gave his services as special judge, CBI, Bhuvaneshwar, and registrar general of the Odisha High Court. He was elevated as judge of the Odisha High Court on 7th October 2009 and served with great distinction. He was transferred to the High Court of Uttarakhand on 11th October 2021 and was appointed as the Acting Chief Justice of the High Court with effect from 24th December 2021 and held the office till 28th June 2022. His Lordships took oath as the 14th Chief Justice of Jharkhand High Court on 20th February 23 and under his esteemed leadership, the High Court of Jharkhand took many strides on both judicial and administrative side. The new campus of the Jharkhand High Court at Dhurva, the largest in the country, was inaugurated by Honorable the President of India and the event was also graced by the presence of Honorable Chief Justice of India and other esteemed dignitaries. All faith prayer was also organized by the Advocate Association at the new campus and His Lordship was a gracious participant. Under his leadership and guidance, the information and communication initiatives have received a further boost and various steps have been taken towards making the High Court of Jharkhand a truly paperless court in future. Particularly, the court number one, as we have seen for the last so many months, has been a paperless court. To enhance the accessibility of justice for general public, two innovative e-seva Kendra come help decks were also inaugurated and made functional during His Lordship's tenure. His Lordship also inaugurated the virtual bench of the High Courts at districts of uh, Dumka and Paramu and Daltingan and Parkwood on 29th November 2023. His Lordship in his long years at bench has been part of various landmark cases, which also provide us a deep insight into his personality and character and social consciousness. His Lordship at High Court of Uttarakhand allowed a 13-year-old rape victim to undergo a termination of pregnancy beyond 25 weeks, noting the social stigma for the victim and unborn child would be unsurmountable. His Lordship at Odisha High Court was part of the bench which upheld the validity of Section 43, Subsection 5 of the RERA Act. At Jharkhand High Court, he was author of the judgment which has held that the chewing tobacco containing food additives does not come under the definition of food under the Food Safety and Standards Act. Under his Lordship's direction, the state government has formed a high-level committee to ensure the return of funds invested by people in the various cheat fund companies. His Lordship has also taken various steps to weed out frivolous PIAs which take a serious toll on the limited judicial time and resources. 
His lordship's tenure at his at this court has been a brief yet momentous. In his brief tenure, his lordship has left a great imprint on bar, bench, and the registry. His rise from practicing in district courts of Odisha to chief justice of this humble court is a shining example for young members of the bar. I hope his success along with this honesty, discipline, dedication are the values we all emulate in our lives. As we bid farewell to our beloved the Chief Justice, this is also being a very solemn occasion, but let us celebrate the legacy his Lordship leaves behind. So that his Lordship's contributions in the legal system will continue to inspire us and guide us in the years to come. As he embarks on the next phase of his long and healthy life, I, on behalf of the Advocate General Office, wish him all the best and thank him for his services to the state of Jharkhand. Thank you. Honorable the Chief Justice Sri Sanjay Kumar Mishra, the esteemed Honorable Judges in the bench, Learned Advocate General, the Additional Advocate General, Deputy Solicitor General of India, the President and Secretary of the Advocate Association, the members of the Bar Council, the Senior Advocates and members of the Bar, the Registrar General and members of the Registry. It is another day in the history of this comparatively young institution when we attain the full court farewell reference of our 14th Chief Justice and rhetorically the first Chief Justice in our new High Court campus. His pioneering efforts in smooth transition to this new High Court has been remarkable and the best upgradation this Honorable Court has witnessed. It seems a throwback in the past in February 2023 when many of us present here attained the swearing in ceremony of our Honorable Chief Justice. I still remember our Chief Justice uplifting and encouraging words on his swearing-in day that his first priority will be to impart justice to poor and downtrodden and second to expedite the old cases. We can say he took the cue from the ideology put forward by Benjamin Franklin, justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are at outrage as those who are. His concern and thought towards the vulnerable section of society comes from his inspiring journey, which started in 1961 at Bolangir, Odisha, his birthplace. He attended school at Bolangir, Tikra Upper Primary School, and in 1977 completed higher secondary from Prithviraj High School. As a second generation lawyer, the Honorable Chief Justice started practice and under guidance of his father, late Makan Misra, at Bolangir District Court. During his initial years as an academic enthusiast, he also served as honorary law lecturer at Bolangir Law College. In 1999, our Honorable Chief Justice laid a pioneering start by securing first position in recruitment examination for district judge from the bar. He gave nine years of his efforts to subordinate judiciary. He worked at district and session judge at Sundargarh Dhinkanal and special judge CBI Bhubaneswar. In 2009, he eventually took charge as the Registrar General of Odisha High Court. And on 7 10, 2009, our Honorable Chief Justice was elevated at the High Court Judge of Odisha High Court and served in his capacity for nearly 14 years. In October 2021, he was transferred to Uttaranchal High Court by the, by the Uttaranchal High Court, where he also took charge as Acting Chief Justice of Uttaranchal High Court for six months. On 17-2-2023, he was appointed as the Chief Justice of this Honorable Court. And on 22-2023, he took charge as the 14th Chief Justice of this Honorable Court. There are many precedents which we intend to cite, but I choose three landmark decisions authored by the Honorable Chief Justice during his tenure at Due to paucity of time, I would like to highlight few of his landmark judgment as his list goes on, on pregnancy termination. X was the state of Jharkhand. He simplified the psychological, biological, and sociological aspect related to the case with law and time. 
explained that the social stigma for the victim and unborn child would be insurmountable if court allows a 13-year-old victim to terminate pregnancy of over weeks. Then on dispute resolution process is simplified in Ravind Kumar vs. Union of India that the commercial courts cannot modify arbitral award in absence of manifest and patent error or illegality. On GST law in Binod Kumar vs. Commercial Taxes, late the law that the did petition on grievance cal cancellation of GST registration affects violation of rights under Article 21 to the Constitution of India. Few famous judgments authored this year the batch of service matters by JPSC candidates in unreserved category with horizontal reservation in sports quota. Then the his parity oriented approach in delivering criminal justice. Our Chief Justice has the positive qualities we aspire and admire to develop. In the right, Honorable Lady Rose of Colmer DV June 22 speech at Bernard Dean Hall, she discussed what makes a good judge. Here, Honorable Justice. Justice emphasized on six principles contained in Bangalore Principles of Judicial Conduct drafted by international judicial groups strengthening judicial integrity in November 22. These principles are essentially around five important qualities, punctuality, humility, probity, promptness, and patience. We are truly believe our Chief Justice has all these attributes. In fact, one of his special attributes is tinge of humor, which I personally appreciate a lot. The then, though his humility and kindness, we have always seen his calm approach towards dealing with variety of cases. His conduct and demeanor reminds me of Justice Fali's Nariman message to the bar in one of his speech during his tenure as judge. If you do not acquire the fine art of suppressing your ego when you are young, it will surely overtake you when you are older, after which it will become an incurable disease. What is worse is that you will also become a bit of a bore. The simplicity and ease with which the cases have been authored and heard before our Honorable Chief Justice bring bar and bench closer in each res respect. Sometimes the young lawyers face stage fear. In such situation, when we see our Honorable Judge's kindness, when required, helps the young lawyers to boost their morale to continue to be a part of this profession. The Honorable Chief Justice, these are not my feeling alone. The expression of love and gratitude flow from each of us present here and the entire bar and I have only become their mouthful. Thank you for your support and guidance over the period. Your contribution to this High Court have been invaluable and would be cherished over the coming years. In my view, I am fascinated by his expertise in constitutional law, criminal law and service matters. His approach to see how to work the constitution is far more important than how to understand it. We can say he has truly justified the concept of justice as described in Bhagavad Gita that a judge is bestowed with the sense of complete detachment and humility and becomes the author of his deeds. Islam and Christianity, a humble judge brings in supreme act of any religion. His journey truly is further an example to draw that. There is no shortcut in life, so please work hard with devotion that you can climb stairs from Bulangi to higher judicial seat in Jharkhand. On this note, I bid farewell to a mentor, friend and guiding light to all of us. Your wisdom and your presence in this court shall be missed. I just want to say big things happen when you do little things right. We wish all the best for his retirement and may each day in his being turn out as fruitful as he desire. Thank you. Brother Justice uh, Sri Chandrasekhar, Senior Judge, High Court of Jharkhand, my esteemed sister and brother judges of the High Court of Jharkhand, Sri Ravi Ranjan, the Land and Advocate General for the State of Jharkhand, Sri Rajendra Krishna, I believe he is not there, he has to go out. Anyway, Sri Rajendra Krishna, in absence here, Chairman of Jharkhand State Bar Council, Simati Ritu Kumar, President Advocates Association, Sri Anil Kumar, Senior Advocate, <coughs> come Learned Additional Solicitor General of India, Learned Senior Advocates present, other members of the bar, Registrar General, Mr. Shakir, 
and the team of registrars, ladies and gentlemen, Johar, and good, good afternoon to all. As I rise to address you for the one final time, I am overwhelmed with thoughts and memories gathered by me during my tenure here as the Chief Justice of Jharkhand High Court. It is difficult for me to find right words to express my gratitude. I can only say thank you for all the love, affection and support extended by all of you during my tenure as the Chief Justice of this beautiful High Court. Beautiful meaning not the building, as I yesterday said, it is the man who men, it is the woman who men, the High Court. You are definitely beautiful in your approach, in your knowledge, and in your efforts to campaign fearlessly the rights of your client. Dear colleagues and officers of the court, my odyssey as a judge began on 16th of February 1999 as an additional district and session judge and as a judge of the High Court 14 years ago on 7th of October 2009. This journey is going to conclude next Thursday, that is 28th of December 2023. It was indeed a very joyful and momentous journey for me. I am leaving behind a trail of bittersweet memories. That bittersweet, uh, I choose the word because the dark chocolate uh, tastes a bit bitter and also sweet. So it is a bittersweet memories that I have been encountered and experienced throughout this journey. These moments are going to be my lifelong companion. <coughs> This is the moment to hang my boots and move on for my second innings in life, of life. I have been in the system of justice dispensation for nearly three and a half decades, both as a lawyer, later as a district and session judge, and in, later in a high court judge. I had a great and wonderful experience of working at different levels and with variety of people. Let me share Another experience that I have a unique distinct, distinction of serving three high courts or other words, people of three states in the country. Very, very few judges have this kind of experience. And this experience has uh, in fact enriched my capacity of delivering justice or taking administrative decisions at different levels. I am thankful to the Almighty God for giving me the opportunity to join this dedicated and highly respected profession. During the span of long years in the system, I have witnessed the joys and pain in the eyes of litigants who throng the courtroom, who throng the courtrooms in their quest for justice, which many a time was rather delayed but never denied. I believe that I have performed my, my part of duty with great, great responsibility and professionalism. At this moment, as I reflect upon those long years spent by me in the bar and on the bench, my feelings and thoughts range from nostalgia and gratitude to being overwhelmed. I joined this High Court as the Chief Justice on 20th of February 2023. And I must confess that I had a wonderful time with all my colleagues, all of whom are men of great acumen and source of inspiration. All my sister and brother judges have given me full support and always repose faith in me. I have found each of them very friendly and affectionate. The leadership and involvement shown by them during the shifting of the High Court building in the summer vacation was exemplary and that will remain in my memory forever. 
the Herculean ex exercise could not have been possible without their active involvement at every level. I would like to thank the learned Advocate General of Jharkhand, Mr. Rajiv Ranjan, the President, Ms. Ritu Kumar, though I must confess that uh, Madam Ritu Kumar and I had certain differences in certain matters, and we have resolved it and go on, went on with the business of doing uh, justice to people. In fact, I was telling both uh, Madam Ritu Kumar and Sri Naveen Kumar, by the name, it appears they are brother and sister. Eh? Uh, <laughs> they are, they may not be by blood, but they are. And in fact, we all are brother and sister serving the same cause. When they say that uh, if we have made any mistake, we may be excused. Agar dil dukha hai to, ya gusha ha gaya to mere hama hamko maaf kar dijiye. To me maine unko bola tha ki gusha ham apno ke upar hi karte hain. कभी आप जाके कोई रास्ते में जा रहे हैं उसके ऊपर तो गुस्सा नहीं कर सकते गुस्सा किसके जो अभिमान करते हैं गुस्सा करते हैं कि ये हमारा नहीं हुआ ये अपने की आदमी ही के ऊपर किया जाता है अपनों के ऊपर किया जाता है सो उसको गुस्सा नहीं पकड़ते वो थोड़ी ही देर में होता है वो फिर चला जाता है फिर हमारा जो संबंध है वो आगे आगे बढ़ता रहता है सो आई थैंक मैडम रितु कुमार एंड द जनरल सेक्रेटरी मिस्टर नवीन कुमार फॉर द of the Advocate Association for uh, their cooperation. And I may say it, uh, if I have uh, wavered off my path, maybe they have, might have corrected me. And I took it gracefully, no problem. I also thank uh, Mr. Anil Kumar, my alma mater. <clears throat> of course, the Advocate General is also my alma mater. Uh, additional Solicitor General for this uh, Union of India. Mr. Prashant Pallab, Deputy Solicitor General of, for the Union of India. Then uh, uh, Mr. Krishnan, uh, Rajinder Krishnan, the uh, Honorable Chairman of the Jharkhand Bar, uh, Jharkhand State Bar Council, and the senior advocates uh, present today. Uh, I have learned a lot from you uh, during your arguments in the court, especially uh, Ajit Kumar ji, uh, B.P. Singh ji, and I, in, 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 please don't uh, say that others have not uh, taught me. They have also, but uh, as I yesterday confessed that I am not a born leader, so 80 percent name I forget. Uh, with that as it, as it may, I have learned from all of you, all the senior advocates that appeared, and surprisingly enough that I have learned from some of the junior advocates of the of uh, this court. Uh, uh, though I am not taking names of anybody, I see that some of the junior advocates, they, they come really prepared with the facts and the law and they present their case so beautifully that I wonder if I can do such a job for my client, if at all I have continued uh, to become a, uh, uh, continued uh, my profession as, a, as, as an advocate in the legal field. So, uh, thank you all senior advocates and thank you all the advocates who appeared in my court. I hope and trust my court ambience was uh, very uh, friendly so that no person, uh, because it happens sometimes that some of the advocates are very confident, very aggressive in their approach while arguing the case. But some of them are a bit meek and mild, who do not, uh, are not able to speak of, in case, in, in presence of the, what do you call, the dominant figure of the Chief Justice. I hope that that was not a hindrance to anybody who appeared in my court. And I see quite a few smiling faces uh, that uh, assures me that it was not so. Thank you everybody, every person who appeared before me every senior advocate and uh, I don't say junior advocate uh, and advocates who has appeared before me. It is also time to give a big thank to my wife, Simati Madhumita Mishra, 
माय सन सोनक मिश्र माय डॉटर स्वयं सिद्धा मिश्र हु आर माय सोर्स ऑफ इंस्पिरेशन एंड स्ट्रेंथ आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक माय अदर फैमिली मेंबर्स एंड फ्रेंड्स फॉर स्टैंडिंग बाय बाय मी थ्रू थिक एंड थिन माय जर्नी वुड बी इनकम्प्लीट विदाउट देयर सपोर्ट I was also fortunate to have a wonderful team of uh, registrars in the High Court, members led by the learned uh, and I may say omnipresent. He, he is present everywhere I go. Mr. Muhammad Sakir, the learned Registrar General of the High Court, and the team of registrars, Sri Nirej Kumar, Nikesh Kumar, Shina. रजिस्टर एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन श्री कौशल किशोर झा रजिस्टर एस्टाब्लिशमेंट श्री रवि रंजन रजिस्टर विजिलेंस श्री संजय कुमार मेंबर सेक्रेटरी एस सी एम एस श्री बीरेश कुमार ओ एस टी श्री संजय कुमार सिंह जॉइंट रजिस्टर जुडिशियल श्री देवाशीष महापत्र जॉइंट रजिस्टर लिस्ट एंड कंप्यूटर श्री अनुज अंजनी अनुज दी सेंट्रल प्रोजेक्ट कोऑर्डिनेटर श्री फहीम किरमानी जॉइंट रजिस्टर एस्टाब्लिशमेंट कम इन चार्ज ऑफ प्रोटोकॉल टू डेपुटी रजिस्ट्रार श्री शिवेंदु द्विपदी एंड श्रीमती तन्वी एंड श्री प्रशांत कुमार गुप्ता ओ एस डी टू द चीफ जस्टिस ऑल दिज एनर्जेटिक मेम्बर्स ऑफ द रजिस्ट्री वेर ऑलवेज रेडी टू हेल्प मी इन माई डे टू डे एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव वर्क आई हैव सीन देयर डेडिकेशन एंड कमिटमेंट ड्यूरिंग माई एंटायर कैरियर एंड टेन्यूर इन दिस हाई कोर्ट दे वॉक टायरलेसली एंड विदाउट एनी कंप्लेन even throughout the summer vacation to complete the shifting exercise in the record time i would like to extend my special thanks to my pins private principal secretary sri gopal jha who has rendered tremendous assistance to me in discharging my duties other officers like sri nilendu saran court master manoj kumar and akhori prashant kumar senior secretaries Virendra Kumar, Secretary; Mamta Mishra, Senior PA, as well as Satya Narayan Prasad and Udit Prasad, who have dutifully and obediently performed their tasks given by me. I am very, I am also very thankful to members of the Chief Justice Secretariat, namely Sri Kumar Rajesh Ranjan, Vikas Kumar Tripathi, Mukesh Kumar Jha, and technical staff, namely Prince Kumar. Besides. these uh, three my three uh, personality personal security officers who were always there with me to provide me security namely sri vikas guru sri shankar bahadur sri rajesh rai and additional pso biswajit biswajit was given the charge of accompanying my wife wherever she went out of the house or out of branchi and i always feel uh, trusted that when biswajit is there uh, with her she is safe i need not worry so big thank you to biswajit also is though he is not in my personal staff my driver resham bahadur rana sanjay ji and lanan pathak they have, they were always ready and willing to discharge their duty with utmost sincerity my pilot party escorted me in coming to office sri prashant थापा गोपाल सोरेन प्रकाश थापा गुरुदेव थापा चंद बहादुर हरि बहादुर छेत्री सुरेंद्र सिंह ठाकुरी रामचंद खरखा अर्जुन राज शाही अमरदीप गुरु सागर छेत्री दीपक थापा राजेश शुभ शुभा शर्मा शैलेंद्र कलिकोट धान बहादुर थापा पुरन थापा एन रंजन प्रधान विश्व मोहन झा जुबीर खां देर आर ऑल्सो ऑल स्टाफ्स लाइक माई कुक प्रभु दयाल एंड सो मेनी ऑदर्स हु हैज रियली मेड माई स्टे इन रांची वेरी कम्फर्टेबल वन विद दीज वर्ड्स आई एम सेंग गुड बाय टू ऑल ऑफ यू यू मे हैव बीन फिजिकली लेफ्ट बिहाइंड इन माई life journey but to always remain remain in my thoughts i request you all to remain connected with me 
Thank you for arranging such a grand farewell for me. Special thanks to my brother, Justice Chandrasekhar, who will be taking the baton from me, at least, in, uh, at least for, for the time being. I feel humbled to see you have put all the efforts to make my last day office as a memorable one. And I also take note that the Chief Justice Court is a big one. And still it is full. Thank you from the core of my heart. As I hang up my ropes, I express my heartfelt gratitude for your kindness. I bid you all an affectionate goodbye with the words of Hindi poet Sumitra Nandan Pant. Iha sanjha usha ka angan, iha sanjha usha ka angan, alingan biraha milan ka, cheer. Hashaya Sumran Anan Se Manap Jiban Ka. Thank you very much. Bande Mataram and Jayama Ratnagarbha Jharkhand.